Okay, um, this is the big one, I guess, in a sense. This is the one that everyone talks about that's difficult to do and everything. Um, this is the metal slide and barrel replacement for the Marui Glock 17. Um, it's notoriously difficult to do, it requires filing and all sorts of things, but I decided to do it and um, it took about two hours to get it exactly right. Um, so I'm going to try and fit it in now to a 10 minute video. Um, so let's get to it. Um, this is it here, it's the PGC slide and barrel. I bought it from um, eHobby Asia, I got this one from. Uh, packaging just cardboard box, it says G17 from Marui, black is ticked, uh, 2010 version. And interesting point, it says real holster okay. Um, there was a bit of debate in the airsoft community over whether changing the slide on the gun would mean that it wouldn't fit in a real Glock holster anymore. And in fact, the garter version of the aluminium slide uh, doesn't fit in a real holster. I'm not exactly sure why, but um, apparently the PGC one does. So, let's take it out. Okay. So inside, you've got three pieces. You've got the barrel, you've got the slide, and you've got the extractor pin here. On the original Glock slide, the original uh, Marui slide, the extractor pin here is uh, just molded into the frame. It's it's just plastic. Um, I guess for realism's sake they decided to make it a separate piece. Uh, on the real firearm what this does is um, when the slide is racked after firing a shot the extractor pin grabs the empty round and fires it up in the air and out of the pistol uh, which is why the next round uh, has room to go in. Um, okay. So, first thing to do is to strip down the Glock. So, safety check, magazine, no rounds inside, okay, we're good to go. So, take off the original slide, put the frame aside, and um, to take out the spring guide, like so. And then the barrel, the outer barrel, inner barrel, and hop up unit all pop out like that. I um, suppose we'll do this bit now because you'll, you'll have to do that eventually. You need to remove the inner barrel from the outer barrel. So you do that by sort of teasing the plastic sideways and the whole thing slides out. Okay, but that side as well. Um, so now you've got the plastic frame with sights and the blowback unit here. The blowback unit actually comes out surprisingly easily. It's one single screw just here. So just a little screwdriver, a little Phillips head screwdriver. Um, the screw is quite long because it goes all the way up into the rear side. Alright, so that comes out. And then the whole blowback unit including this back plate just kind of wiggles out. Now, um, one point to note is this spring here which sits in the left hand slot of the blowback unit. It just ensures that the uh, the piece slides back after each shot. So i uh, put that to the side for a second and here is the plastic slide with sights so you can pop out the rear sight if you want to take it with you I think for variety I'm going to uh, put in the night sights just to show you how that's done um, so you can put that to the side uh, front sight is held in with a single screw which comes out there Put the front side aside as well. 
Um, okay, so while we have the original parts and the new parts here, may as well do a quick comparison. So if we bring in the scale, there we go. So the original plastic slide and barrel weighs a total of 45 grams. The aluminium slide and barrel together weighs almost double that, or over double that, at 97 grams. So it really adds a good bit of weight to the pistol. Um, adds nice balance to the front. Okay, so now is the tricky bit because if you just put all this back together I guarantee you the slide won't even rack. Um, it'll be too tight, there'll be so many problems with it. Um, so let me show you what I did eventually after much, uh, much trouble. So with a metal file here, I filed down along the inside of the rails here at the back, a little bit at the front as well. Um, you'll see yourself as you start to rack the slide, it catches in various places. I filed a little bit down in here, filed a little bit at the front on the inside as well. Um, and also a tiny bit along um, the top here where the outer barrel sits in. Um, I promised myself that I wouldn't file any of the original Marui pieces but as it turned out it was actually necessary. The reason is that when the gun is together like this and the slide is on there with the blowback unit inside there, the hammer which is this uh, bit that rolls here was too close to the blowback unit and the whole thing was jamming there and um, so what I had to do was very carefully bit by bit file down the actual blowback unit here uh, just like that and um, so if you're going to do that because it's an original part and um, you want to really be careful just file a little bit of it at a time and then put it back together try it if it doesn't work file a little bit more um, okay, so the front side ooh, out of the frame pops in there, and screws into place. Like so, not too tight. Then the rear sight, um, as I say, we're going to switch it to the night sights, slides in here. It does take a bit of force to get it down inside, like that. Then blowback unit. Oh, yeah, sorry, the extractor pin. Uh, this was a major issue. Um, the this part of the blowback unit, the part that slides forward here like this, was catching in a major way on the extractor pin. So uh, as you can see there, it's all shiny on that side. That's because I filed it down quite considerably uh, there. Then it goes inside here. If I can get it to fit like that. So that goes in there first, then the blowback unit goes in. And then the long screw that goes through to the hold the back sights or the rear sights in place. There we go. Then the inner barrel slides down into the metal outer barrel. Uh, because it's metal it's less uh, movable. It's a little bit harder to get in than the plastic one. It goes in like that, slides down inside, and then the guide rod goes in, and you're done. And that's it. Thanks a million for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.